As the food price index in April uh, averaged 152 points, uh, which is the third consecutive rise uh, in the index. And this happens after four years of steady declines. Um, the, the, as usual, the, the development in the index uh, reflects, tracks the, the five different commodities and therefore we're not talking about uh, all of them going in the same direction. Uh, this month, uh, the, index, the rise in the index was due to uh, two commodities, namely vegetable oils and cereals. Uh, and those rises have actually offset falls uh, for meat, dairy and sugar. Palm oil production prospects for this year uh, have been uh, worsening due to weather effects El Nino in Southeast Asia. Uh, these, uh, the, the prospects of falling production in 2016 uh, actually comes together with continued growth in demand, global demand, uh, as well as the possibility of lower export availabilities in one of the major, actually the major exporter, namely Indonesia. Uh, and this has, uh, created, is creating concern and has actually pushed palm oil prices to a 17 months high, one and a half year highs. Could other vegetable oils than palm oil step in uh, for the shortage uh, in palm oil this year? Well, this will not be that easy because palm oil plays a dominant role in global uh, vegetable oil consumption. And uh, for the other oils, we've had recent downward revisions in the production prospects, uh, especially for soy oil, but also the uh, um, prospects for rapeseed and sunflower seed production are uncertain. Concerning the other elements of the index, uh, as I said, only cereals is uh, moving upward, but uh, only by 1.5%, which is due to maize. All the other commodities are uh, falling, uh, dairy, uh, sugar and meat is about unchanged. Now sugar is interesting because last month we have had uh, a major surge in sugar prices, which is, has been corrected in April. Uh, and this has to do with new uh, uh, reports from Brazil about, in fact, a bumper crop. Brazil is the most important, the world's most important producer. And also because Brazil uh, uh, probably will uh, use uh, less uh, of the sugar cane for ethanol production than earlier anticipated. However, uh, the general concern about a possible uh, production, global production shortfall for sugar, uh, uh, remain uh, and therefore the decline in prices may be a, a temporary one only. We have seen that during the first four months of this year uh, the index stopped falling after four years uh, and actually improved slightly. Now to give you some figures this means that compared to the peak of uh, reached in 2011, we're talking about a uh, reduction in, in the index of one third of its value. And this is quite substantial. Now, uh, w could this mean that we are uh, reaching an inflection point, uh, uh, bottoming out of the index? Uh, now, this is much too early to say because uh, we're only talking about two to three months. Uh, that could be a temporary halt uh, rather than a, a proper inflection. Uh, the other thing is that we're talking about five components in this index and yes, for some we may be able to talk about something like an inflection point but not for others.